what's up guys welcome back today we are going to see a quick tip for another google now command so already i have covered a lot of commands in couple of the parts i guess three parts i covered so check that list of the complete google now commands and the show the notes so uh, i i just encountered a situation suppose uh, and you maybe get to the same situation uh, assume that uh, you might want to call your girlfriend or your mom's and uh, which both of them unfortunately have the same name a common between them suppose they can have the nicknames and the last name and maybe the surname or the middle name common so uh, here i am taking the situation and my girlfriend name is rosy gupta and my mom's name is rosy daisy so i will just show you guys exactly again here so uh, that may be a very common situation but uh, uh, you can make it a further use of that one where you will like that so if i search here rosy so uh my girlfriend name is rosy gupta and my mom's name is daisy rosy i'm just assuming a name so uh if you by using google now command if you want to call any of them suppose you want to call your girlfriend rosy gupta and unfortunately you call uh, you select a daisy rosy so situation might get weird so uh, you can assume whatever you, it can happen uh, if that happens so because you want to text something and you text it to content you want to send to your girlfriend you send to your mom so uh, in the standard google now command how i will do that so okay google call rosy do you want to call rosy gupta or daisy rosy so you've seen like uh, this can happen so if you do it like way so uh, and how to get it so you need to manually you know select that and do everything else so uh, the google uh, now command has you know uh, relationships and things and voice recognition pattern which you can make a relationship and can assign nicknames to your contacts so in future you can directly use that nickname and it will go there so so standard procedure is there and uh, xyz name is my then whatever relationship you have suppose i want to give uh, my girlfriend my rosy gupta my relationship name so i will simply say okay google rosy is my girlfriend So as you can see here right now it's showing here exactly text so uh, it shows a blue tick mark when you select that blue tick mark uh, it will it will assign the girlfriend name to the rosy gupta so once i checked in here click here so it goes here so and uh, next time if i'm going to call rosy gupta i need to simply say girlfriend so i'm, I'm just showing you guys demo how you can do that okay google call girlfriend calling rosy gupta mobile so you can see exactly uh, it dialed immediately by just saying my the nickname and if you want to get change or remove that name so there is another way i am showing you guys two ways how you can do that and first is you need to say uh, after activating the google now command you need to say uh, rosy is not my you need to fx not uh, to the relationship whatever you have made so here i am going to say rosy is not my girlfriend so okay google Rosie is not my girlfriend. So you need to again uh, check here. Once you select that nickname, remove. Now I'm just going to quickly add another nickname. Then I'm going to show you guys how you can show that. Okay, Google. Rosie is my girlfriend. So here uh, the again nickname has been added so to access that again simply uh, go to the google now settings and swipe here go to the setting under accounts and privacy you can see what are the nicknames have been assigned there so you can see exactly uh, rosie gupta has a name given girlfriend so you can either click here to remove that or use the command rosie is not my girlfriend so that's it guys a quick tip and maybe you can figure out a situation where it can be helpful to you so you can create a lot of relations with that and make sure to check that the previous google now commands and a lot of commands i have explained so just uh, in quantity the situation so i want to sort show you guys again so and here again a quick updates i'm uh, working on a lot of camera apps for the best camera apps for this part 13 of 2016 already have covered a lot of in 2015 and as you can see i have taken a lot of photos here and i just have to categorize if i go to the recent you can see i'm taking each camera app with the separate pictures and maybe you can visualize which camera app is better so that's it guys thanks for watching guys again as always and i'll talk to you very soon have a nice day ahead